A very high profile murder trial is now beginning in Niagara County. The jury is going to be hearing the case against Joseph Belstadt, who was charged with the 1993 murder of his high school classmate Mandy Steingasser. To inside Steve Brown joins us now. He has the details on this case with a history that really stretches back for decades, right, Steve? That's absolutely correct, Scott and Mary Ellis. Over 200 potential jurors have been pre screened now for this trial, some of that in private conferences with court officials. The judge and attorneys are trying to find a jury which can be impartial to hear evidence in the highly publicized cold case slaying of Mandy Steingasser. A case which has been 27 years in the making is now formally underway for the defendant, 44 year old Joseph Belstadt, seen here in the gray shirt with his attorneys. He was in Niagara County Court today as formal jury selection got underway for his second degree murder trial in the slaying of Mandy Steingasser. The body of the then 17 year old girl who was strangled was found in Bond Lake Park in the fall of 1993. Prosecutors claim that she was last seen several weeks before, then getting into the car of Belstadt, who was her classmate at North Tonawanda High School. Belstadt has been free on $250,000 bail since he was charged back in April of 2018. Investigators had suspected him of being involved in Steingasser's death for all those years, but it took the re-examination of forensic evidence with more modern techniques to bring him to trial. There has been plenty of pre-trial jousting by prosecutors and the defense attorneys, which has led to delays in this case. That includes the defense strategy of arguing that another man, Steingasser's boyfriend at the time, may have been the actual killer because his DNA was found on her clothing. Prosecutors counter that the boyfriend was five states away from Western New York at the time of the slaying. Judge Sarah Sheldon told jurors today that up to 100 witnesses may testify in the case, which could last for six weeks. Again, this case will continue to be highly publicized with a heavy media presence expected. As we previously reported, Judge Sheldon has already granted permission for a crew from the NBC Dateline program to record portions of the trial for an upcoming segment. Steve Brown. Channel 2 News.